Hello and welcome to News Analytica. I am Afumia Yalu and this is your news analysis for the day. Peace agreement between the government of Ethiopia and TPLF. A breakthrough of peace in Ethiopia. After 10 days of intensive negotiations, the African Union led peace talks between the government of Ethiopia and Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF, and Pretoria, South Africa concluded on the 2nd of November 2022 with an agreement. The agreement is expected to provide a clear roadmap to end the two-year war in northern Ethiopia. Accordingly, what has exactly been agreed and what are the reactions to these agreements and next phase? Today's news analysis will focus on this issue in detail. Stay with us. What has been agreed? The AU-led peace talk has secured a secession of hostilities between the conflicting parties that paves the way for the restoration of peace and security in northern Ethiopia. The joint statement between the government of Ethiopia and the TPLF indicates that the parties have agreed on almost all key issues related to the conflict. These are 1. Acknowledging the conflict has brought a tragic degree of loss of lives and livelihoods and it is in the interest of the entire people of Ethiopia to leave this chapter of the conflict behind and leave in peace and harmony. The parties have agreed to permanently silence the guns and end the two year of conflict in northern Ethiopia. 2. The parties reaffirmed their commitment to safeguarding the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ethiopia and to upholding the constitution of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. They also agreed there is only one national defense force. 3. They agreed on a detailed program of disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration for TPLF combatants, taking into account the security situation on the ground. 4. They agreed that the government of Ethiopia will further enhance its collaboration with humanitarian agencies to continue expediting aid to all those in need of assistance. 5. They agreed to implement measures to include the restoration of constitutional order in the Tigray region a framework for the settlement of political differences and a transitional justice policy framework to ensure accountability, truth, reconciliation, and healing. Six, they agreed to stop all forms of conflict and hostile propaganda and only make statements that support the expeditious implementation of the agreement. They also urged Ethiopians in the country and abroad to support this agreement, stop voices of division and hate, and mobilize their resources for economic recovery and rehabilitation of social bonds. Seven, it was also agreed that the government of Ethiopia will continue the efforts to restore public services and rebuild the infrastructure of all communities affected by the conflict as students must go to school, farmers and pastoralists to their field, and public servants to their offices. The reactions to the agreement. The conclusion of a secession of hostilities agreement between the government of Ethiopia and the TPLF has been warmly welcomed by various international actors and institutions. In a tweet posted on 3rd of November 2022, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said, We welcome the signing of a secession of hostilities between the government of Ethiopia and the TPLF, and commend the African Union for its extraordinary efforts to bring peace in northern Ethiopia. Dr. Roy Kanagabayo, Executive Secretary of Intergovernmental Authority on Development, congratulated the parties for signing the agreement and expressed his hopes by saying, By signing the agreement to silence the guns and end the conflict, the people of Ethiopia now have the opportunity to establish a long-lasting peace. The chairperson of the African Union Commission, Musafaki Mohammed, has warmly commended the parties for signing the secession of facilities. The government of Ethiopia on its part said, The agreement signed in South Africa was monumental in moving Ethiopia forward on the path of reform we embarked upon four and a half years ago. The statement further said Ethiopia's commitment to peace remained steadfast and its commitment to the implementation of the agreement was equally strong. What is next after a peace agreement? The signing of a peace agreement is a major step to bring peace in Ethiopia. However, a peace agreement by itself does not guarantee peace. It requires to be timely and effectively implemented with mechanisms of accountability put in place. Studies indicate that more than half of the 105 countries that signed peace agreements between 1945 and 2013 have relapsed into violence, and 40% of civil war affected countries returned to war after a decade of signing peace accords as can be observed in Indonesia, Burundi, Iraq, Rwanda, Sri Lanka, and Iran. The main driver for the relapse has been disagreements over implementing peace agreements. It is thus imperative for the AU, international partners, and the parties that signed the agreement to commit to an implementation framework as soon as possible and mobilize resources to finally bring peace to the country. This was the news analysis for today, and thank you very much for staying with us.